Once you are finished tweaking your sound file to have it just how you want it, it's time to produce your final sound file. We'll do this here in the Level 4 tutorial. Simply saving a file in Audacity does not make it a sound file. What you need to do to make it a sound file is to export or use the export feature available in Audacity. That will combine all of your sound clips into one standalone sound file. Depending on which version of Audacity you are using will depend on where you go to export your sound. I am using version 1.3. So to do this in this version, we click on File and then Export. A box will come up giving you a few options. One, where you want to save your final sound file to. Two, what you would like to name it and three, what type of file it's going to be. For purposes in the classes at HMS, we will be saving to your folder on the desktop of your computer. The name of your final sound file will be dependent on what project you're working on. Here I'm just going to call it sample file. And thirdly, you can pick which type of file you would like to save. Most common are MP3 files and WAV files. MP3s are most common as they take up the least amount of space amongst these file formats. So that's what I'm going to use today. Once I've selected all that, I'm going to click Save. Another box will appear the first time you are exporting a sound clip that will allow you to apply properties to your MP3 file. In the corresponding areas, feel free to click and type in information to go along with your sound file. For example, under name, I'm going to go ahead and type my name. Under track title, I'm just going to call it the same thing I saved it as, sample file. I could continue to put more information such as the album title, if this was to go with a class project or a, a CD, a track number if that was known, the year, the particular style, and any comments that I would like to put with that as well. This information shows up when your file is played, such as on the screen of an iPod or in Windows Media Player, and will give the person viewing your file some hidden or embedded information about the file. Once you've entered what information you'd like included, click OK, and your file will now be exported. It'll take Audacity a little bit of time, depending on how long your sound clip is. If you are finished working, you don't need to save your project. However, you are encouraged to save it so that you can easily come back and make changes to it later if you wish. To learn more about saving and closing your project, continue on to the final tutorial, the finale, or you can select one of the other levels to go back and explore. Go ahead and make your selection now.